Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tape News, and this is Bernardo, and now this is episode 140. Now, it's been a while since I gave you guys an episode. I've been kind of busy doing other things, bringing out some quick tips, first looks, and some gaming, but uh, today is, is a goodie. Now, uh, today's episode is all about how to run Windows XP for free within Windows 8. Now, Microsoft gave Windows 7 users a way to run all their applications via the Windows XP mode but with Windows 8 that mode no longer officially is supported why Windows 8 why would you do that um, and if you want to run Windows XP in a virtual machine you need the license for it yes you need to purchase a license for Windows XP now you might say to yourself, why would you run XP? Well, in Windows 7, remember XP went to Windows 7, so there was a lot of applications that you needed to run that wouldn't run properly with Windows 7. So Microsoft was nice enough to get, give us a virtual machine of Microsoft XP for free, and all we had to do is just download a client like VMware or VirtualBox and get it hooked up. So today I'm actually going to show you guys how to make this application that only runs that only runs with Windows 7 and make it run with Windows 8. So the first thing that you guys need to do is hopefully I'm going to place all these links inside uh, right in the bottom of the video description part. The first thing that you guys need to do hopefully my machine won't crash on me. Uh, uh, bring this back up. So I'm going to actually put this link at the bottom of my description like I said about two seconds ago and you actually had a con download this this is what you want but the problem is if you double click on this file once you finish downloading now you gotta make sure you this is gonna violate it's gonna make sure that you have a uh, legit Windows 8 copy if you don't it's not gonna download it okay so once you download this file and you double click on this file you're gonna say to yourself okay let me double click on it it's gonna install bam bing I'm done no 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 remember this application will only work for Windows 7, not Windows 8. Windows 8 doesn't doesn't support it anymore. So what you have to do is you have to find an application such as Win 7 Zip. I like using 7 Zip to open up the EXE as within like uh, you gotta open up like an archive. So what I mean, uh, once the EXE is downloaded, located, right click on it. I'm using 7 Zip. I'm gonna hit uh, 7 Zip open archive. When you do that. What's going to happen is you're going to get something like this. Okay? So this is the path. This is the exe file. Now you want to go inside the source file. Once you're inside the source file, double click on source file. Okay? You want to open up that XPM file. The XPM file is where the virtual disk is located. Okay? So I already open it up for you guys because it took me a while for it to open it up so let me see bingo there it goes so when you open it up and it finally extracts the XPM folder or file whatever you want to call it this is the stuff that you have now you want to extract all this information to a specific location for me I put it everything inside a folder called XPM inside my desktop now for this to work within Windows 8 I downloaded VirtualBox from Oracle. Again, it's free. You always love those free things, those free utilities. Um, locate the file that's called Virtual XP VHD, and you have to rename that file to a VHD extension. Once again, as you can see, Virtual XP VHD dot VHD. You gotta you gotta convert that file into a virtual hard hard disk file. Okay. Once you do that. You're going to open up your virtual box application like I did right here. And you're basically going to import that VHD file inside. And once you do that, you're going to start that bad boy up. And once you start that bad boy up, you're going to get all this stuff. The old XP setup. Everyone remembers that. I, 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 I love this, this XP version because it was kind of stable. I like doing it I did a lot of my programming as well as a lot of my networking stuff on XP so it's, it's I'm kind of glad to see this again uh, again do what you need to do on this part get it set it up create an admin uh, an admin account password and you're good to go you're running XP for free it's not gonna it's not going to ask for a license you're good to go because again you validated that you have a Windows 8 legit file 
a legit operating system I mean and you're able to run uh, XP on a virtual box hopefully you guys enjoy this um, episode and I catch you guys later peace out